This is the moment when I flout the law. It all began a month ago, when Joey Malone walked through my door. I'm a private investigator, no more or less. And I should have expected this to be another fine mess. A simple divorce case, it seemed at first. I should have foreseen it would be so much worse. A husband who's taken for all he's got. His bank account's emptied, he's left to rot. A loving husband who turned out to be green. And an alcoholic wife with legs of margarine. Let me introduce myself. The name's Jeff Rake. I'm only as good as the money I can make. I'm no James Bond, as if anyone cared. No one gives a damn if I get shaken or stared. When it comes to finding trouble, I have the knack. But I always feel better with someone watching my back. Let's get back to this case, this simple divorce. I'm offered a good payday, money up front of course. About Joey Malone who walked in my door. I can't put my finger on it, but I've seen his face before. Little did I know before this case was resolved, things were going to get nasty. Murder involved. This alcoholic wife had shacked up with a notorious guy, one who'd shove a red hot poker in your eye. A wayward gangster with connections to a local crew, a nasty bunch, they belong in a zoo. I have to get photos, save Joey losing all his dough, an old age in poverty isn't the way he wants to go. Catch Psycho and Trollop in a sexual act, get photos to prove it, it becomes a fact. I wasn't aware when I followed this man. It was like the slaughter being taken to the lamb. I hired a cheap hotel in a shady street. You've got to have something to hide if this is where you want to meet. The area's run down, deprivation land. Drugs on the streets, plenty of guns at hand. The bars are so rough you put your name down for a fight. The neighbourhood's so poor, even the rainbow's in black and white. This could all get violent, but I'm prepared for it all. It's moments like these, you either stand or fall. I'm tooled up and ready, as if going to war. I'm always prepared if I have to flout the law. I enter the hotel, it looks so dilapidated. I better be careful, or I could end up decapitated. No one's at reception. This is good news. Saves me a story I don't want to use. I check the book. They're in 304. Just as I thought, I've been here before. The marital suite, so you could say. The perfect dive to have your wicked way. I'm outside the door. No voices to be heard. In case you're wondering, yes, I am scared. I open the door using a dodgy key. Done it so many times, it's easy for me. Slowly I cross the floor. I hear voices. They're in the bedroom next door. My camera is ready to take a shot. I'll do it in one click. Because that's all I've got. I hear movement behind me. I swivel around fast. My thoughts better be quick, because they could be me last. Joey Malone is standing there with a gun. My first instinct is that I better run. I know now where I've seen this jerk before. I just couldn't remember when he first walked through my door. He's a contract killer, and he's here for a hit. Guy's got no models, he's just a bad shit. He's used me to track down his targeted prey. Whoever's employing them, I can't say. He beckons me to leave, go out the door. I'm getting in the way. This is gang war! The atmosphere is so tense, it feels like it will implode. My ass is so scared, it feels like it's gonna explode. It isn't Joey's wife who's humping next door. It's probably no more than some local whore. It's psycho he's after, some gangland dispute. I'd better leave now and then remain mute. I make my way towards the door. Joey passes me across the floor. His finger's on the trigger, a hitman on a mission. As for me, 
I gotta make a quick decision. Do I walk out the door? Let murder take place? Go back to my job? Forget Joey's face? But instinct tells me it won't be the last I see of him. I'll end up dead. My headless corpse gone for a swim. Joey turns the handle on the bedroom door. I can hear sexual action from Psycho and the whore. Joey's about to pull the trigger. I better act now, I figure. Joey, don't shoot! I suddenly yell. The atmosphere now becomes hotter than hell. Joey turns to look at me. Totally alarmed. Then Psycho appears at the door. Fully armed. This Psycho don't need no protection. He's got a big gun and an even bigger erection. He shoots Joey down, bullets are flying. My last glimpse before fleeing is of Joey Malone dying. I flee the building, thankful I'm still living. I don't care about Joey, it was lies he was given. Psycho don't know me, we've never met. As long as that's the case, I don't see him as a threat. All I know is I gotta get away from here, to the safety of home, I need a cold beer. I've been paid well, another case resolved, and a gangster shooting that may never be solved. Another case over, this is the life I've chosen. As long as I get paid, my models are frozen. I'm a private investigator, Jeff Rake's the name. Do anything for the money, that's the game. A shooting, a wage, another case resolved. When it comes to the legal stuff, I don't want to get involved. I don't pretend to be the most wholesome guy you could meet. But another dead villain is just one less on the street. 